was on the phone with my mom. She talked about how she never had time to dry her hair after taking a public shower. Public shower is usually a single floor, shared open space with dozens of shower heads where people chat and cleanse themselves. I've thought about how I have been to public showers with my grandmother, my mom, and other women in my family. That humid big space is where we share memories. Memory chest is a symbol of shared daughtership and womanhood that juxtaposes memories from three generations of women. When opening the memory box, one becomes a ghost. Time travels between space, personal, and family history. A wheat, a shoe sole, a family photo, candies, and tomatoes recollect and retrieve a past of overlapping space and time. Memory chest is a personal box that you can bring home and experience the past in a comfortable space. During the time of self-quarantine, the installation was converted digitally. With the challenge of missing in-person textures, cyanotype became my tool to rebuild the past. Using steels, drawings, and inkjet prints to imagine the stories. Making cyanotype interacting with the sun is an experiment with time. Reimagining the life and space from my mom and my grandmother's childhood. The digital design of the installation mimics the act of a person picking up an item, hearing the stories behind, and seeing the visuals. I started piecing memories into stories that trace our past and personal truth. Drawings are used to replace the items. Steels, archival footages, and family photos are used to tell the stories. Memory chest is a belonging, a lonely, an enduring past. It lays there somewhere, disappears and reappears. <laughs>